And then I want to talk just a moment before we close about the need for us also. We don't just need to shake our shaker, but we need to soak our souls. Shake your shaker and soak your soul. You know, I had an accident, as you all all know, with this, with this leg, and it's, thank God, it's, it's healing. But if you look very carefully, my knee is here. This is my real knee, and all of this is swelling. And last week, the orthopedic specialist took a needle and he stuck a needle into my kneecap and he put a needle on top of that needle and then he put a big tube on top of that needle and then he dug down. And he said, now this is going to be a little uncomfortable now, even though you gave me Novocaine, it's going to be good because I'm going to have to kind of move the needle around there. And when he finished it, there were like four big tubes, they called it, I think, hematoma. It was all dead blood and, and, and the four different layers of epidermis or epidermis, all that stuff is all up in here now. It's all soft tissue, and it's just going to take time. And he's, I go back next Monday, he's going to take, take more. But he also said, get into a tub and put some Epsom salt in the tub. It will soak out the infection. I don't know about you, but I don't just have infection in my leg, but there's some infection in my spirit sometimes. Sometimes my spirit is off, and sometimes your spirit is off, and we need to soak in the salt of God's word, in the salt of God's presence, in the salt of God's power, in the salt of God's anointing. We need to simply lay back and soak and say, Lord, work on me. There's something in my spirit that I know is not right. There's something in my mind that I know is not right. There's something in my heart that I know is not right. I've not forgiven my brother. I've not forgiven my sister. I want to be able to shake my shaker, but I don't want to shake infection on anybody else. I want to be effective, not infectious.